Will he be quite so dominant in this event after that performance by Bibby? But it's a great start. An incredibly fast competitor, Kieliszkowski, and this is extraordinary. all about grip this absolutely of course uh, you need quick feet as well because the grip will go on anybody and uh, it's all about time you go too quick though Danny you can clip your knee and go down that's one thing you have to watch out for very difficult to start again once he's stopped Kiedyskowski pulling ahead of Terry Hollands here got across the line does so convincingly Hollands right behind him and really, really, I mean, that's very impressive. Under 20 seconds, twice as fast as Mark Felix. Unbelievable, really. Goodness me. Twice as fast as Mark Felix. Extraordinary. <laughs> Speed against experience here. Oh, my goodness me. Just one motioning it. And again, he is just so fast, Peter Skowski. He's, what he's good at, he's just unbelievably good at. His weaknesses like deadlift and, and it didn't used to be log. If he can work on those, he's a threat for world's strongest man. Well, look at this. He's trashed the 57.75 he had to beat. Managed it in just over 24 seconds. I think he's struggling. I think he might have been bumped off the podium there. Kitskovsky's brilliant at this, Danny. Seen a bit of training that he's done on the internet, and he's extraordinary. He might be taller, he's not even quite a bit taller than Stolman, but look at this, two already. Look at that. And uh, what was the pace? One every five seconds? Well, there's four in under 15. Well, Shevnikov slowing slightly. No sign of that from Kieliszkowski. He's not using his legs, Shevnikov, not properly anyway. He's trying to lean back and bench press it up a bit. 12 to beat, courtesy of Stoltman. 30 seconds to go. Kieliszkowski doing very well. Does that one look just as easy as the first? And ooh, the tenth one, a little stutter forward. He's got to hold it up there. Well, he's got 11, and he's got time. Didn't get that one, Danny. He never quite locked out and held it up there. Well, he's got it now. Still 10 seconds to go. Shivnikov on six. Can Kieliszkowski manage 13? Heavy breathing. He's got it. Well, look at that. As soon as Stoltman set it, Kieliszkowski took it away. Shivliakov, six reps. But the might, the speed, the explosive power of Kieliszkowski means that with 13 reps, he takes it. I like it. Shivliakov demanding he gets some applause there. He's such a modest fella, Kieliszkowski. <laughs> Exactly, waste a lot of time laughing and joking. <laughs> He's really down to business, oh, Look at the speed. Outrageous. Goodness me, it was like a bullet start, one foot forward. Eight seconds at the turn, we haven't seen that yet. Well, if he could just maintain that, maintain the balance and the focus, which he... Bah. That's all he does, isn't it? Look at that. Oh! Oh, my goodness, the cameraman. But what speed from Kieliszkowski. This event, I never lose this event. It's my best, from best. Do you think you're the fastest strong man in the world? In this event? Yes. On well, then to Kieliszkowski. And Fares again, the smallest man in this competition. And that can be uh, of help. You don't have as far to go, that's for sure. Now, Kieliszkowski, yes. Look at that technique. Really slick. <laughs> Look at this. Bang. Fair struggling to use his knee, first of all. He just couldn't lock out above the shoulder. Unsteady. That's the difficulty, you see, because you can't get a proper grip on it. It's very hard to balance if your hand isn't right in the centre as it gets driven up. Meanwhile, Kieliszkowski manages five. He's got some big old mitts on him, Kieliszkowski. He seems to balance it beautifully at the top. I'll tell you what, that uh, eight reps. Could well get equaled, maybe beaten here by the pole on the right. 15 seconds left to go. You have to be fast. Well, but maybe 
Maybe he will be. That's eight. Just over five seconds. He's done it. Nine reps. He blasts past Novikov. He wants more as well. Ah, doesn't get it. Wanted more, Colin. I mean, there was no need. He's won the event. Last <laughs> pair. Diskovsky trained so hard and it paid off tonight. Oh, he must be thrilled with that. Put in a good stone run here to fend off the likes of Novikov. But Ben Brunning in with a shout. He is, absolutely. This is it. It's all down to this final pair then as to how things will happen. No, oh, Kieliskovsky, he's flying out the blocks. Ben Brunning really, we say in with a shout, in with a shout of a place on the podium. But look how fast Kieliskovsky is. 28-8 was Stoltman's time. Well, he hasn't done that, but... 21.15 seconds. Extraordinary. Kieliskowski, I'm sure, has done enough with that performance. During the competition now, didn't do the deadlifts. Lots to make up for. Sabatinov, the Bulgarian record holder. He's lifted more than his Polish rival, but does he have the fitness for the reps, Colin? Well, that's a good question. We know he's great for one rep. Good power there off his chest. He's a lot shorter, it should be easier. I mean, Kieliskowski, he's very really quite a rangy man, long arm. He, he shouldn't be such a good long presser. He is one to watch, isn't he, Kieliskowski? Sabatino getting into a little bit of trouble there. Gonna have to reset. But this guy just not stopping. Four reps already way ahead. Oh, this will be interesting. Six or seven reps at this weight. I think it'll be the winner. Bjornsson, he's a good long presser to follow, of course. But Dimitar struggling on three. And like I say, this is the heaviest this has ever been for reps. But you know what? It's the thickness. These wooden logs are so thick, about 13 inches wide. Makes it very hard to get it off your chest. Is he beaten? He's got about another 10 seconds if he's going to do it. He's out of breath. Sabatinov's finished, I think. Kieliskovsky wow. might Look at this. another. Can he do it? Eight. <laughs> he just got that. He did. That was a good call from the referee. Some good reactions from the men. There's Radzikovsky walking off. One of the great pressers of all time. He's been doing some coaching with this young man. And it's paid off. Eight reps. This is looking to get a very fast start there, and does. Both men do, in fact. Wow, that was slow. We'll talk about one motion, it's like a bicep curl. <laughs> Just placing them down. And again! Well, this is a very fast time. Five in 16.09 seconds. Well, he takes it. Kieliskowski wins the World Tour Finals. This is a great time, 18.73 but Lissis acknowledging the victor. Kieliskowski, of course, in first. Lissis second. Yes, that's right. But look at this. The power of the final stone. Himself. So explosive earlier on, up against Kieliskowski. Always smiling, always happy, always delighted. It's always look, it looks mildly terrified. It's amazing. <laughs> He's so good at every event. Well, will he be quite so dominant in this event after that performance by Bibby? But it's a great start. An incredibly fast competitor, Kieliskowski, and this is extraordinary. <laughs> oh, well, look, I think now, now, now we have a world record. That was about 10 seconds, I think. I mean, he <laughs> smoked it by a second. Oh. 
Well, that was an incredible performance. Surely we will see a smile. He's a machine. Well, Magnus van Magnussen confirming there is a world record, but what is the actual time? Ten seconds even. Ten seconds on the nose. Ten seconds. Crushed it. This guy's unbelievable. How about that? For focus, the strain, a thousand pounds crushing him. Leg to leg, driving forward. He was almost up to a jog. Hard working, hard train every time. I train very hard. I want, I want to win. I compete to win. I compete to be best. Finally, I won, and it is best gift for my son and my wife, who waiting for me in home.